Hi, this is Lisa Adkins, faculty member at Agile Coaching Institute, and you have found Ask the Agile Coach. Every so often, we ask our students and people in the general public, what are your most vexing Agile Coaching problems? And we attempt to answer them with these short videos. So we got a, a doozy. We got a doozy from Megan who says, how can I justify having two separate roles for an Agile Coach and a Scrum Master? And there have been a lot of flavors of this arriving as she asked this question a few weeks ago. I've just seen more and more flavors here and there. You know, one flavor is we've had Agile coaches and now we're going to have Scrum Masters so we don't need the Agile coaches anymore. Another flavor is um, we have, we've had Scrum Masters for a while, they're really fully functional, but we want to, you know, broaden the influence and we want to move into the program level and into the enterprise, so let's bring in program level Agile coaches. And lo and behold, the people they bring in are less skilled than the Scrum Masters, and so now we're going, wait a minute, what do we do with these people that we brought in? Another version is someone arrives at work and he's told, you're not a Scrum Master anymore, you're a delivery manager. So all of these things are around roles, and what I'm going to attempt to do is give you a way to think about it. Um, there's not a right answer. I mean, and in fact, the answer to Megan's question, how can I justify having two separate roles, maybe you can't. It really honestly depends on the situation and what the organization needs. And so the first thing I would encourage anyone doing to do in this situation is to really start to map it out. To look at all of the functions that Scrum Masters would do, all the functions that kind of multi-team or program level Agile coaches would do. In the cases of the guy who's told he's a delivery manager, map out all of that stuff, whatever we think that is. And then genuinely ask the question, what does the organization need? Now, there are a couple things that I want to offer here because I think that we can live with a very stunted version or a small version of what these roles really are. And I want to expand that and give you some tools and resources you can use to get the full flavor of it. Because if most organizations are living with these stunted versions of these roles, then it's easy to say, we don't need that one, doesn't work that well anyway. So, the first thing I want to offer is that everyone who is helping an Agile team use Agile to develop great products is doing Agile coaching. Scrum Masters are Agile coaches. People at the program level across a bunch of different teams paying attention to the program level organizations around, those people are Agile coaches. People paying attention to the enterprise surround, those people are Agile coaches. Now, we have all kinds of, of mix and match that we do with names and with roles and having to do with how your organization handles career transitions and all that sort of stuff. But the bottom line is that a scrum master of one team, that simplest situation, is an Agile coach and needs all of the same skills that an Agile coach operating at the program or multi-program level needs. These are people on the ground. They need the same exact skills. The only difference is the level of scope or influence they might have. So a resource for you when you think about this is the IC Agile Learning Roadmap, which IC Agile commissioned, but it belongs to all of us. It's Creative Commons. And in this Learning Roadmap, it'll tell you here are the steps of developing a good Agile coaching capability in your organization. Um, so that's one piece. The other piece I want to offer is that I think that we can easily settle for believing that if teams are delivering, then that's all that needs to happen, that we're there. We've reached the pinnacle of perfection. We don't need to do anything else. Well, in fact, teams deliver all the time, often in, in situations that are really awful, awful in, often in situations where they just kind of eke it out, yet we accept that as fantastic. And so scrum masters, agile coaches, whatever you call them, at whatever level they're at, all, are all working toward helping a team deliver. And one of the ways they do that is by increasing the team's competencies. And there are three that I really think about when I think about team competencies that are really critical. Collaboration, creativity, and conflict. And so these are three areas that the Agile coaches, whatever level they're working at in your organization, need to be focusing on. It's not just getting the delivery done. Shoo, we're done, we made it. It's not just that. It's delivering these, it's, it's creating these capabilities so that delivery can happen more reliably and with better results. So map out your organization's needs through these different roles. See if you really do need these different roles, but also don't 
don't settle for the definition your organization may have of those roles. Go ahead and use the resources available to you to say what's the full breadth of those roles. One of those resources, as I mentioned, is the Learning Roadmap from IC Agile. And then there's also a handy dandy white paper on the Agile Coaching Institute website that very specifically says what should you expect from competent coaches at various levels of development in your organization. So that's what I would offer you for now. Good luck.